Edward Heath had been warned about the constitutional implications of joining the European Economic Community EEC in a letter written by the Lord Chancellor, but he decided to keep quiet and promised the British people the country's entry would not involve any loss of essential sovereignty, unearthed reports reveal. For the last 48 years, EU membership constricted Britain's ability to have decisions taken, policies set and laws made by people who are directly accountable for those choices. However, on January 31, Britain finally put an end to Eurosceptic frustration and regained its independence. As a new chapter of the country's national history begins, unearthed reports shed some light on the man who took the country into the bloc in the first place. Former Prime Minister Edward Heath signed the Accession Treaty to join the European Economic Community EEC, the precursor to the EU, in 1972. However, that was just the culmination of a lifetime of efforts as the conservative politician had already started warming to his task in 1961, when Harold Macmillan announced he had applied to join the community for the first time. Mr Heath quickly gained the nickname of Mr Europe and kept pressing Britain's cause in Brussels while championing the European aspiration at home. Since then, the former Prime Minister has been many times accused of misleading the electorate about the repercussions of Britain's membership. In June 1971, a white paper was sent to every home in the UK, promising, there is no question of Britain losing essential sovereignty. Then, in a TV broadcast in January 1973 to mark his signing of the Treaty of Rome, Mr Heath went even further. He said, there are some in this country who fear that, in going into Europe, we shall in some way sacrifice independence and sovereignty. These fears, I need hardly say, are completely unjustified. However, Mr Heath's assertion is largely at odds with what he verifiably already knew about the EEC and its true plans. In a report for the Brexit think tank Red Cell titled Putting the Fisheries Negotiations into Context, former Conservative Party Minister Patrick Nichols revealed in a letter in 1961, Lord Chancellor, Lord Kilmere, had specifically warned Mr Heath he had mislead the country when he had said that accession to the Treaty of Rome had no constitutional implications. Mr Heath, though, did nothing to address such warning. 